Good afternoon, YouTube. It is Wednesday. That means we are halfway through our work week. It also means it's time for a midweek photography fix. No BS, no jibber jabber, just photography. This week we're heading to Rocky Mountain National Park to shoot sunset at Bear Lake. Now, before we get into the Bear Lake photography, don't forget you have two weeks left to submit a photo for this month's challenge. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out this video here. Otherwise, let's get into it. When I arrived at Bear Lake, I was extremely optimistic about the conditions. I have shot this lake more times than I can count. Any trip to Rocky where I don't have time to hike to a location or I have an early morning hike plan for the next day, Bear Lake is a great place to catch the sunset. You have a beautiful view of Long's Peak and it is perfectly positioned to catch that sunset light. On this day, we weren't supposed to shoot sunset at all because we had a 2.30 a.m. start for hiking Sky Pond the next day. However, we were supposed to have minimal wind and I could see a ton of high cloud rolling in. I was worried that I was going to miss out on a potential great shot, so I made my way to the lake. When I was standing there looking at these mountains, I felt the same way I often do at this park. The scene was absolutely beautiful, but I was missing just a few components of the recipe to make a really great image. I had great light on the peaks and some nice clouds in the sky that might catch light, but there was a steady breeze breaking the surface and removing the reflections. By the time the wind had calmed, the sun had dropped below the horizon, eliminating the glow on the peaks. However, at this point, we did have some decent color in the sky and calm enough water to give a decent reflection. I did capture a series of mediocre images, and then I told my wife that we could just pack up and leave. Now, you might be looking at this footage and thinking, this is a gorgeous scene, and I'm an absolute idiot for not being happy with it. And you're partially right. However, because Bear Lake is so accessible, it is one of the most photographed lakes in the park. If I had these conditions at almost any other lake, I would be absolutely thrilled. To get an image at such a well-photographed location that's going to stand out, the conditions really need to be special, and this really just wasn't that. My wife must have heard the disappointment in my voice, as she said we should stay another 10 minutes. And if you knew my wife, staying another 10 minutes for photography is not on her agenda. But I explained to her that the light wasn't going to get any better, but she reminded me of the last time that I said that, and then spent the whole ride home mumble cursing as the light got more and more beautiful as we drove. So we stayed. I hate to say it, but for the literal first time in her life, my wife was right. The conditions got better, and they just kept getting better. As the clouds spread across the sky, I couldn't help but think, man, those patches of blue across the edges of the frame are really distracting. I know, I probably sound like I'm going to complain no matter what conditions I get, but this channel is not called Mr. Positive for a reason. I really wanted Long's Peak to be the star of the show. and. Almost as if the photography gods heard me, the clouds continued to spread across the sky and even had the most interesting texture right above the peaks. At this point, I was completely out of excuses and I just needed to get the shot. Through the echoing of my wife's voice saying, I told you so, I set up a vertical composition. I panned from right to left, capturing four frames, each bracketed at plus and minus one and two stops. At the time, I thought a single image exposed far to the right would be sufficient. However, this ended up not being the case, so I'm glad that I bracketed. The blended image had much better color accuracy, although I did reduce the saturation, as anybody who does not see this video would never have believed that the colors were legitimate. I have to say I'm very happy with this image. Is it perfect? No. We could use a little bit of snow on the peaks and the trees, maybe even a little bit of ice on the perimeter of the lake, but that's why we keep coming back and that's why we're never satisfied with our landscape photography. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and the image. Make sure you come back this weekend. We'll be doing more images from Rocky Mountain National Park, Odessa Lake, and Sky Pond are coming up in future videos. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next weekend.